Hello everyone, welcome back to the Budget Sportsman. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. We are back here in the Hopkins Prairie of Ocala National Forest. You might recognize this spot from a few weeks ago when I did a short camping backpacking trip with my family. Today I'm back in the same area with my good friend Sam and we are about to go out and do a backpacking trip. We're going to head out a uh, south from the area where we were last week, hopefully get to a couple of small ponds and spend the night calling for rain later on. So we're going to try to get out there, get set up and get camp established before the rain sets in. So with that said, hope you'll join us for the adventure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, here, hook this on my... Uh... <laughs> uh -huh. I never recorded that. It's quite the backpack you have there, Sam. It really is. Look at this, uh, what kind of scat that is. Oh, yeah. about two miles in on our hike and just came across a really cool little camp spot here kind of little open clearing some beautiful pines it's not quite what we're looking for we're looking to get down closer to some ponds down here but really beautiful spot Well, we're about uh, two and a half to three miles in and uh, found out that I made a big mess up. The map showed two little ponds here, which is what I thought were the ponds we were aiming for. And we got here and they're just dried up nothings. And uh, pretty sure that the ponds that we actually wanted to go are another like two miles down the trail. So uh, we are at 4.15 in the afternoon. Not sure if uh, how far we're going to go, but... So far, we haven't found the place we really want to camp, so we're just going to keep going. We're now about four miles in, still haven't found a good campsite or a good source of water. And uh, now the rain's hitting us. So uh, I told Sam that if nothing memorable happens on this trip, I might not make a video about it. I don't think I should have said that. So I think now we're getting the memorable. Sure. Right? Pain is memorable. Keep out for the I am, and I was hoping you would uh Spook him first. Yeah. Hmm. I don't really see any way through it. Yeah. Well, we were gonna go 2.5 miles to our campsite. We're now at 4.2, I think. And I think we finally found a spot we like. We got a little pond back here, water in it. Sam said he saw some fish or frogs or something jumping, so we might try a little fishing later. We got this nice little cove of pine, nice soft ground here, flat ground. Hopefully looking up to the sunrise in the morning. So we've got maybe an hour and a half till dark. We're gonna go ahead and get our camp set up. Well, we got camp set up. I am in the cheap Ozark Trail three-person tent, which is really way too heavy to be carrying as a one-person tent, but it's gonna be plenty of room. It's gonna be super nice. Sam is in a hammock, and he's got a big tarp set up and everything. So, um, got camp set up. I am really hungry, but I think I'm gonna hold off on eating till it gets a little darker, because I just wanna look around and explore. This is an absolutely beautiful area. Uh, it's totally different than what we have back home in Pennsylvania, so. I think I might just take a little walk around this pond over here, just see all the game trails and uh, just see the sights there is for a little bit. One of the things that's really cool about this campsite, and our campsite is right here, um, but that it's really open like this, kind of out here, and then there's this transition and it gets really thick back here. But right here in the transition, there's all kinds of little trails. Uh, right here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's bear. Oh, it's old bear scat there. Now that I'm not really excited about, but there's also a lot of deer scat here. And if we walk back in here a little bit, um, there's actually a couple of fresh rubs. Here's a, a fresh rub right here. Keep in mind, this is um, this is January or February, excuse me, down here in Florida. 
So typically up in Pennsylvania, we're not seeing buck rubs this time of year, at least not fresh ones. So that one looks fairly fresh, maybe not super recent, but it's kind of cool to see all the game sign right down around here. Guys, I'm absolutely thoroughly enjoying myself. It's not just a, it's not a stunning sunset, like nothing you've ever seen before, but it's just so peaceful. It's calm right now. There's hardly any wind. You hear the birds. And then just to see the color in the sky to the west, it's just, just gorgeous. It's calm. We're four miles from the truck. There's nobody else back here. Just enjoying nature. It's just so relaxing. Beautiful. Thanks for coming with me. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Well, we're just kind of hanging out here by the fire for a while. Still haven't made any supper, but I don't have a camping chair or a lightweight backpacking chair, so I decided to bring this hammock that I'm sitting in. This hammock's a little too short for me to sleep in, and it doesn't have a bug net, so I didn't feel like it was a good option to sleep in tonight. I have slept in it before, but it's fairly light, so I thought I would just go ahead and bring it uh, for a place to sit. So I've kind of got it strung up between these two trees. The fire's over here. My tent's there. Sam's working on this log so he can have a place to sit there. I think he's got it pretty much ready to go. And this hammock back there, we're just hanging out and chilling. Well, I think it's time to do some supper. I have brought some chicken flavored ramen. And I've heard people say that you can mix instant mashed potatoes with ramen and it makes an interesting combination. So I've got some loaded baked mashed potatoes that I had at the house. And I don't think I'm gonna use a whole packet of mashed potatoes, but I'll dump some, some in with the ramen and see how it tastes. What are you eating, Samuel? I'm eating uh Long range MRE packet, rice and chicken, Mexican style menu number nine. The Warnock Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. We'll check back in later, see how you like it. We'll see. There's the chicken and rice, Mexican style MRE. And here's what we got going with the uh, mashed potatoes and ramen. I cannot tell you how excited I am to eat this right now. Let's, uh, let's dig in and give it a try. All right, here it is, moment of truth for the Ramen and mashed potatoes. There's a slight possibility that I'm very hungry. But I have to say it's really good. <laughs> I don't know if it's just hunger or if it's actually good. I'll have to try it at home sometime and give you the final consensus, but... Mmm. That is really good. Like, I, really good. I think, generally speaking, we're really hungry. I'm real, I can tell you that right now. I'm really hungry. All right, so how's the uh, chicken rice? It's okay, it's a little bit bland. Uh, I think I added too much water into it. I think I would have What about the uh, Tabasco sauce was in there? Did you add it? Yeah, I did, but it just kind of gets lost. I think it's just too much water, but it's still good. Not as good as the ramen and mashed potatoes. Yeah, now off camera, Sam tried my ramen and mashed potatoes, and I wish I had a cause reaction because... It's very good. It's really good. I'm a big ramen fan, and an instant mashed potatoes fan, so... And they were loaded mashed potatoes, yeah. I think helped. Yeah. So it's good. Hey, let me just give you a tip here. This is pro tip number 642. Be careful who you go backpacking with, especially if you're a YouTuber, because they might be sitting across the camp making fun of you the entire time you're trying to make a video. Exactly. Here's what I've been trying to tell you is that uh, it's about 8.30 at night. Just crawled into my tent, getting comfortable. Uh, probably not going to go to sleep just yet. Maybe listen to a podcast for a while. And uh, really looking forward to seeing the sunrise in the morning. So stick with me, and I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, y'all. I had a good night in the tent. Woke up every few hours just to kind of change positions, but went back to sleep. And overall, I'd say I slept pretty well. Got some rain throughout the night, but stayed dry. Uh, Sam was his first night in a, a new hammock for him, and I don't think he was too comfortable. But um, overall, we made it through the night. A beautiful morning. Not quite what I hoped for. Didn't have a good sunrise. It's overcast and a little bit foggy, but still a nice morning. But I'm going to tell you what, I'm hungry, so I'm going to probably uh, boil some water for some hot chocolate. And Sam brought along a uh, scrambled eggs and scrambled eggs and something in an MRE for me. So I'm going to open it up and try that. I'm super excited. I haven't had an MRE in a very long time. So we're going to get to it. Sam was kind enough to bring me an MRE for breakfast this morning. This is a menu number 10, long-range packet, scrambled eggs with cheese western style. 
I'm so excited to try this. I haven't had an MRE since I was eight, I think. And there's all kinds of stuff in here. Cheddar cheese pretzels and uh, chocolate sports bar. What else did I miss? Then we got um, cocoa beverage powder and beverage base powder orange. Granola with milk and blueberries. Of course, you got your accessory kit here with mint and toilet paper and coffee and matches and Tabasco sauce. We're going to break into that. A spoon. And then the main menu is the Western style scrambled eggs with ham, peppers, and cheese. So we're going to break into some of this stuff, give it a test, and I am excited to try it out. Well, I got my water boiled and I got it in my eggs, uh, scrambled eggs over here. So it's got to just sit for a while. And I got my uh, hot chocolate made. But I'm going to start with the dehydrated granola. I got a couple ounces of water in there supposed to be blueberry and milk. Let's see. Here it is. It's actually really good. Surprisingly good. And I was just talking to Sam about this uh, new spork I got from Walmart. UCO stuff. For this kind of thing, it's perfect. You get a little extra length to get down in there. Hmm. It's a spot. Well, I think my scrambled eggs are ready. They smell pretty good. I don't know if you can see in there or not. But uh, I want to give the full experience and give the Tabasco sauce in there a try. So I'm going to squeeze some of this in there and give my taste test. Tabasco sauce tastes like Tabasco sauce. To me, the eggs are kind of a weird consistency. I'd, I'd say the granola was top notch. The eggs are, they'll get you through. Yeah, they're a little weird. Well, y'all, we got camp packed up right here. It's been a beautiful spot. I'm glad we picked this spot. Had a great night, great time camping. But, got to get back to the real world, back to responsibilities. So. It's about 9, uh, 9.20 right now. We got uh, 4.2 miles back to the truck. So uh, we're gonna get the packs on and get to it. All right, now that you learn from my mistake. Wow, yeah. impressive. Yeah. As I turn around and smack my head on the moon. Well, y'all, we are within sight of the truck. We're about 4.1 miles back to the truck. And uh, it's been an awesome trip. I don't know how well I documented it on camera, but I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Loved our camping spot. Had some good company for the most part, except for when he was trying to crack wise jokes while I was filming but hey you know pretty good time we sure enjoyed it oh here we go let's go this way so um anyways I sure appreciate you coming along for the adventure hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think down in the comments and until next time remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation